The Heisman race is coming down to the wire and it seems like we have three guys who are all potential candidates to win this award. The current betting favorite, Bo Nix, the quarterback of the Oregon Ducks, leading this team to an 11-1 record and a Pac-12 championship date against Washington and their Heisman candidate quarterback, Michael Penix Jr., currently has the third best betting odds to win this award. Penix has been absolutely phenomenal this year and currently has Washington undefeated and with a very good shot to make the college football playoffs. Now the final guy here, quarterback for LSU, Jaden Daniels. He doesn't have a chance to get his team in the college football playoffs, but has been absolutely lighting it up on the stat sheet and is making a major case to win this Heisman Trophy award. Let's go candidate by candidate here and talk about the special seasons each of these guys have had. Now we know the Heisman Trophy winner, the guy that puts up the best stats, has the most remarkable season, and is just an absolute game changer. Now, over the years, we've had voters give this award to not only players putting up good stats, but also leading their teams to very good records and college football playoff appearances. Now, you look at Michael Penix Jr. He currently has the third best odds to win this award, but he's currently led Washington to an undefeated season and a Pac-12 championship berth against Oregon. They met earlier this year where the Huskies defeated them at home 36-33. Penix had an absolutely dominant game. And when you look at Washington's strength of schedule, they have four ranked wins. And I think that goes a long way, along with his resume of amazing stats, to potentially help him win this award. Now, he's currently second in the country in passing yards. He's fourth in passing touchdowns. He's completing 65% of his passes. And unlike the other quarterbacks in this race, he doesn't use his legs as much. But like I said, the phenomenal record from Washington and a potential college football playoff appearance is what gives Penix such a strong case. Now you look at Bo Nix, the other guy in this race that has led his team to an amazing record and will also have a great shot at making the college football playoffs. The Oregon Ducks, they're 10-1. and Like I mentioned, they lost in a very close game on the road to Washington earlier this year, but they're going to have a chance to get them back in the Pac-12 championship on Friday night. If the Oregon Ducks win the Pac-12 championship, they are going to be a one-loss conference champion with four ranked wins on the season. In. Go ahead and throw them in the college football playoffs. That is going to go a huge way to helping Bo Nix win this award. As I mentioned, he's currently the betting favorite because of his insane resume. Now, as I mentioned, he's getting it done in the win column. But you look at his stats, he's leading the country in passing yards. He leads the country in completion percentage, nearly completing 79% of his passes. He's second in the country in passing touchdowns. He only has two interceptions. And not to mention, he's getting it done with his legs as well. He's got 150 rushing yards yards, but he's accounted for six touchdowns. Bo Nix has been absolutely phenomenal this year, and it's no question why he's the favorite to win this award. Now, the final guy here, Jaden Daniels, I don't believe is getting enough love. What he's doing statistically is absolutely unreal. He's putting up Joe Burrow numbers when he won the Heisman, but doing even more with his legs. Now, he's third in the country in passing yards. He leads the country in passing touchdowns with 40. He's only got four interceptions. He has the ninth best completion percentage in the country at 72%. But if you look at his rushing numbers, it absolutely catapults him above these other two guys. He has 10 rushing touchdowns and over 1,100 rushing yards. This dude ranks 21st in the country in rushing yards, and he's a quarterback. It's no question that Jaden Daniels has the best stats across the board here but the one thing that's really hurting him is his team's record they're nine and three but I think it's really unfair to knock Jaden Daniels for his team's losses here you want to look at the three losses that they suffered against Florida State week one this defense gave up 45 points against Ole Miss this defense gave up 55 points and then against Alabama they gave up 42 points it's hard to win ball games when your defense is giving up 40 plus points per game. I don't think Jaden Daniels should be affected by that, but ultimately I don't think he has a chance to win this award because he's not playing on championship weekend. I do believe that he should win this award, but realistically it comes down to Bo Nix and Michael Penix. Now when you compare these two quarterbacks, they've both been phenomenal in the win-loss category. Their stats are insane, but whoever wins this game is ultimately 
definitely going to win the award. I think Oregon only lost to Washington earlier this year due to them being on the road. They lost on a last second kick, but I think this team is one of the most balanced teams in the country. Defensively, offensively, they have an amazing run game. And as long as Bo Nix has an above average game and leads Oregon to a win, go ahead and hand him the Heisman Trophy. I don't see him losing this award. Oregon will beat Washington in the Pac-12 championship, resulting in Bo Nix winning this year's Heisman Award. I'm Caden Kubler, and that's my take.